Here is a remake of Mario Kart 64 on the Super NES for Super Mario Kart. And Mushroom Cup, Flower Cup, Star Cup, Special Cup, all of those have the original recreations of the N64. As you can see, they're in proper line as well, as in they go from map to map to map, or track, I should say. And uh, what I mean by in line is the very first track when you play N64 on Mushroom Cup is Luigi Raceway, which moves into Moo Moo Farm and goes into Koopa Troopa Beach. And then we have Calamari Desert. But the thing about the Super NES is it has five tracks per cup, is where there was only four tracks per cup on the N64. So I have bonus tracks for every fifth map. And here is a generic version of Yoshi, which actually works really well. It doesn't look beautiful. However, it plays really, really well. So I'm moving on to Flower Cup. We got Toad's Turnpike. And there were more cars on this originally when I set this up which was too difficult and I removed some and I moved locations and whatnot and this I found to be optimal this works for me really really well but I've played this a lot you know beta testing all this stuff and making it work well is gonna be different from actually experiencing it for your first time and I think a lot of you who want to play this are going to hate this map besides the original N64 as far as I know, most people absolutely hated this map. So, I'm going to make a variant version or an alternate download for you people to have this exact track without cars. Or or possibly with minimal cars, maybe three. Um, actually, I should get your opinion on that. And maybe I'll release a demo and allow you people to try it out and and give me feedback because I really want to know what you guys think is is good for this because I've already done what I want to do and this will be for me and I'll release what's for me as well but on the other hand I don't want to disappoint people on this map because this map has always been a problem on the original game as far as I'm uh, aware moving on I replaced um, Yoshi with Mario, and um, I can't say I actually replaced, because this map, well, a lot of these maps, were created by someone else. I'm just making them playable. Uh, someone made Mario 64 Super NES uh, Reverse Remake, or something, I think it was called, and the bonus tracks were nothing like this and they were just total garbage and they they were like pictures they were cool looking but they they did not mm, they weren't playable even though they set the AI to work and everything it was not playable in any way it was worse than Toad's Turnpike on an epic scale so back to this um you know, getting the AI to, to run this, there was already AI set up, but it was it was too fast, or it would bump in the walls, just really stupid stuff, so I fixed all of that. And then we got, I think this is Choco Mountain. Um, you know, maybe I should put some blocks over here that disappear when you bump into them, kind of like the rocks falling. Uh, I don't know, that I, I'm not sure if I can put a frail block on on uh, the Choco Island design. I'll see what I can do. I might, I might edit that, depending. And then we got Mario Raceway. It's, you know, it's Mario Raceway. Uh, works really well. 
And then the bonus track is another Yoshi. This one looks much better than the last one. The last one plays better, but this one looks better. And again, this comes from another hack, and this one was not in the N64 hack. This was in a total different one. And it was sad at best. It was totally unplayable. So I changed some things. For example, I made this barrier over here so you don't fall in the water because we're constantly going in the water. I made this barrier here as well. I might change this red to the green. I probably will. It makes more sense. Um, but the main thing was you kept bumping into Yoshi's body and it would knock you everywhere and then the AI racers would knock you everywhere and they just keep running the track like nothing's wrong and you're guaranteed 8th place. So I decided to make Yoshi's body off-road, which you can read here. And that allows you to go through his body, but I also put the screen barriers here so you can't just cut through his body. Um, as you can see, it's a solid block for this, this green stuff here and this green stuff here. So it gives you a lot more leeway and you're not getting knocked all over the place. You can drive through his body, but not enough to where you can bypass the track and it feels like you're still driving on the track um, it's got really good gameplay out of this one I, I personally think and it's you know a bonus track anyway and moving along we got Wario Raceway which looks really good in my opinion um, there was always a thing that people did with with the original map of lightning and this jump here you know what jump I'm talking about this jump here you used lightning before your opponent uh, you know like when you're playing team match or race match or whatever and they try to go over this jump and they stop dead short before the next location doesn't work on this one and I wouldn't want it to work on this one because the AI has a hard enough time making this jump in the first place so and overall this is a really good map and the, you got these jumps here which was in the original game and uh, you can actually cut sections of the track if you're really good if you know what you're doing but even if you jump the track you have to know where you're jumping or you go the wrong way but I made sure that if you do make a mistake you got these jump bars you can jump out of these mud pits so really good there and oh I don't remember the name of this map <laughs> but Originally, when this map was, it didn't have the penguins, I added the penguins, and I think this one works out really well. There is a slight problem with this location down here. It's a bit harsh trying to make this turn. I might cut this off a bit to make it easier. I don't know. It, so far it works for me, but maybe I'll release a demo and which I said I was gonna do for the other map anyway. So you guys can decide and tell me if it's too hard or too easy. It works for me, but I know it's really difficult, so uh I'm I'm gonna need feedback on this map for this location. And then Royal Raceway. Again, this this was a crude map. It looked awful. It played awful. I admit I didn't originally make this map, but I redesigned it and made it look better. It looks great now. The road looks good. It's it's pristine, in my opinion. I put a lot of work into fixing what was wrong about the, the original N64 hack. And a lot of these maps didn't exist in the N64 hack. I took some of them from other creations that other people made, so it's actually a conglomeration of other people's recreations of the N64 maps. 
and um, Bowser's Castle this one there's a really hard spot which was always hard on the N64 as well you got these shrubberies and the um, lava pit the lava pit is in my opinion easier on this than it is in the N64 as where the shrubberies are easier on the N64 than they are on this. And I actually edited this to make the shrubberies a bit easier to get past because they were they were catching me all the time. And they might catch you, but I think I think I'm going to leave this the way it is. I don't think it'll be too difficult for the average player. Um you can take this turn and jump really nicely. It works well. And for the bonus map, we got a track from another Mario Kart game. And this one works amazingly. Although I, I think I need to redesign this, this pit. I got a um, oil slick in the center. It doesn't look great. You know, the original game allowed you to sink into it and uh, this is a bit small plus it's no nah, nah. I'm gonna redesign it I'm sure I am but I have to figure it out I have to it doesn't even look good well the map looks good but this pit looks kind of thrown together and janky um, but it works that's what matters and then we have Donkey Kong jungle and this one again the original creation behind this, you couldn't take this turn. I made this turn much easier, although it's still a bit difficult. But I think, I'm pretty sure it works good enough. And again, when I release my demo, this may be something I can get feedback on. Maybe I need to fix it, maybe I don't. I play a lot of Mario Kart, so I'm pretty good at this. And... I need feedback to be let known whether this is still too difficult if I need to make this bigger or leave it alone or reposition it somehow something maybe maybe not uh, originally this map didn't have this bridge other than say like something like this uh, maybe it was too wide it it was really terrible um, Oops. It just didn't, it wasn't feasible at all. So I fixed that. And then all of this was, <laughs> yeah, it was dirt. And I know the original game was dirt, but I couldn't make it look good. There was nothing to really make that look good. Um, actually, looking at this now, no, because if I do these flowers, I was just thinking, ah, I could do that with dirt, but what will happen is... The flowers will look square. You got, yeah. That's really not any good. So, I'm probably going to leave that green like it is. I mean, come on, this is a uh, prior to the N64. So we can say that, hey, it turned into gravel later. It's green now. Um, moving right along here, I got my fav my favorite map. And I was thinking of turning this into a battle map just because I absolutely love this map. And Mario Kart 8 has this as a battle map, and it's my favorite battle map for Mario Kart 8. I use coins to show arrows for figuring out where you're going, which they're going to disappear as you collect them. But um, that's why I also tried to put boxes in locations, although... Yeah, the boxes don't exactly tell you where to go because um, you can go backwards and still meet those boxes. as where the coin arrows actually show you where you're going. Um, I think the coin arrows make it work. I had different arrows before, but I had to move them because I was realizing I figured out the map, but that doesn't make it good enough. That everything re-leads into this location and I figured if you can get that down the rest makes sense so hopefully this works out um, I might have to use the moles 
or something else if I don't know again that that comes down to I need people to test out demo and give me feedback this map works really well but as for figuring out where you're going even though so many people have probably played the original the original isn't flat planes you can see how not to go backwards really easy as where this you can get kind of lost so that's a um it's not a work in progress unless i get bad feedback on this map and then we got uh, ghost valley and this one this one i think works out pretty good um I think I might need to add the break that's here that is kind of like a, a jump down. I don't know. Um, maybe add a jump bar or something. I'm not sure. It really works great the way it is. Uh, I know that jump was kind of... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should just leave it. It's pretty good the way it is. Then Rainbow Road. This is what's been killing this whole hack for a very, very long time. So here it is. Really good design. Looks like the original track. And since it's flat, you have to turn circles into jumps. And the first one works decently. But as soon as you get to the second one, it's really complex to get around that angle. So, I decided to do a redesign and show how you can bypass this with this lo white location. And there's two of them. You can take the turn if you want and make the jump. It does work. I got the AI running it. It works. As you can see here, the AI locations are all in place. They do run this map properly. But you can bypass it, and AI is hard enough that when you bypass it, they still give you a challenge, especially with the rival that takes place. A lot of people don't understand what rival is. I probably need to make a video on that. Um, people claim it's rubber banding like what takes in place on Mario Kart 64, which Mario Kart 64 does have rubber banding, but that's not how rival works, and I actually need to make uh, a special version of rival because yeah it it changes the entire game when you swap out your rivals every round which is actually possible which is pretty fun to do um but yeah th this map seems to work well the way i set this up but i'd really like to make those turns th those circles to work too but it's it's so hard and I think this might be the best I can get it. I'm still going to work on it. Um but it this might be the final for this map. I'm not positive. Uh I really hope that other people like this. I mean it it looks so good. I have another one that's designed differently that I think runs better but it doesn't look like Rainbow Road it resembles it so hmm since I'm releasing uh, two different versions of this hack with uh, Toad's Turnpike I might do the same thing with Rainbow Road possibly and then for the bonus, we have something very strange. Originally, this map, you can just run it up and down, and you land in water and come around here and do it again. And I had to make the AI as fast as it could go, and it was quite a challenge. But I decided to redesign it. And make all of these white locations ice blocks so the AI has to create a path but you can't just stay behind it and expect the AI to make the track for you because 
they make the most narrow, stupid possible track, you'll never be able to pass it. So you have to push into the AI and make them make a wide track for you. And then it becomes really fun because every time you play this, it's always different, which really makes it really unique. And then for the battle courses, we have Big Donut. Uh, I know a lot of people weren't fan of Big Donut, but it's a recreation of the N64, and I actually think this works decently. And this is by far my favorite. Um, this would be Block Fort, and instead of bridges, it's jump bars, and I've had a lot of fun playing these battle maps with my brother. And so has he. We, we just really love this map. We actually loved this map on the original N64, but I, I do honestly think this version is more fun. And here is a map from a different game. I might replace it with a flat version of the... N64 version, which would be the uh, Double Decker, and I really love Double Decker on the N64, but it it doesn't really work out on on here because it's a flat plane, and all I can do is make flat blocks, you know. Um, the jumps, if I try to make jumps and stuff like how this works, it's not going to match, I don't think. It'd be easy to make a flat version. I, I could do that, but I personally think this is better. But since, again, I'm making a different version for Toad's Turnpike, I can add the Rainbow Road and then add the battle map for this, I guess. Uh, that should work. That way I can have the best of both worlds. And then we have the famous liked but hated map. Um, or I should say battle mode map. And, um, Skyscraper has always been either you love it or you hate it. And it, it was really unique. Uh, the only thing is when you fall off on, on this version, when Lakatu picks you up, you don't lose a balloon. Although that makes it for a different style of play, so I mean, you can be a, a bit less uh, careful in this version. I think maybe I need to make jumps, jump bars on this, so you can jump over position and over position, because there was always that great in between that you could jump over and this is kinda missing that so I'm, I'm sure I need to add that so for the most part this this track or battle map is is done um, just a little bit of editing and uh, yeah I think that's it so I'll be releasing a demo soon I'll probably need to go to the drawing board and make a whole new map for this which won't take long and then jump in the other rainbow road and then go here and remove a bunch of cars and then I'll release both demos and um, as I said please give me feedback so I can get this map and the other maps like rainbow road and, and the other suggestions that I've been making here to fix this to make this truly worth playing. Also, I got a new version of Wario. I haven't shown it off yet, but it looks excellent. And, um, that's what I got so far. Thank you for, for watching.